Look at this snow drift. Holy crap, that is huge. <laughs> this was flat at this level. It was at this level during the beginning of the season. And now it's like this. Holy crap. What's up guys? So today we're going to a, uh, a balloon launch. It looks at various, at er, various atmospheric things. Not really sure exactly what, but hopefully we'll find out here when we get out there. They'll probably tell us what's going on. But it should be pretty cool. It's a big balloon. It is a, uh, it's a beautiful day. Look at that, all these colors on the horizon. Massive snow drifts in front of the station. It's not super windy. It's just perfect. Really excited for this. I've been, been waiting, waiting to witness one of these for a while now, so it should be really cool. So yeah, let's see what happens. This is David and Gavin. They're the ones that run NOAA and are therefore running the balloon. And they're just setting stuff up. Balloon Aerostar 19K plastic, 3,266 grams. So this is the instrument? No, this is the box. This That's the instrument. That's the instrument. It's like this. Look at the science on it. You can see so much science thing. It's pretty obvious how it works. <laughs> so what exactly are you guys looking for? Um, so we are doing, we are measuring a spatially resolved profile of ozone. So basically, we're trying to tell where the ozone is um, above us. As we go in October, the ozone hole will appear um, in the stratosphere. It will appear, it will develop. Um, so we are trying to capture where that ozone is and how that hole is developing. Interesting. What's the instrument actually measuring? So the, the instrument is actually it's measuring current, which most instruments do. Um, but the, so, air, this little pump here sucks air in this tube and it comes down in this little cell. This little cell has a cathode side and an anode side, so it's like a battery. Um, so as the ozone molecules in the air come down, they'll react to this cathode and a little electron, electrons will be released. And they're gonna, there's a little tube across and electrons will flow across from the cathode to the anode side, just like a battery does, across, you know, as you, you know, when you connect the circuit. So we measure that little current. The amount of electrons that are released in this cathode are proportional to the amount of ozone in the air that's coming in. So, I mean, that's uh, the, short, the short version of how it works. So, like you said, very obvious. Yep. The box on the side there, that's actually the radio transmitter. And you can see it's got a little doodad, uh, that's a technical term, uh, sticking out. That, that will measure other things as well. So we can measure humidity, uh, water percentage, things like temperature, um, so that we get a generally, again, a spatially resolved, so we can tell the difference between what's at 10 kilometers, what's at 11 kilometers, what's at 12 kilometers. We can tell you the temperature, humidity, pressure, ozone concentration, etc., and we can watch how all these things interact. Interesting. We are measuring so what we're going to do next is after we put it in the styrofoam container, we're going to use a heat gun to preheat it to about 45 C, give or take. And so that, because of course the stratosphere is cold, so we want to keep the instrument as warm as possible. So you preheat it, you put in a heater. Stuff's about to happen. We'll be coming out these big doors in a second here. Here comes Dave with the instrument. Now we're just gonna leave this out here and it's gonna give us like a baseline here on the ground. So we get five minutes of data here and then we're gonna let her go.
How'd it go, Dave? Woo! Way up there now. You probably can't see it on the camera anymore. But, it's up there. Look at these colors. Wow. Well, that was really cool. <laughs> oh, man. It's still, still way up there. Um, I'm curious how high it goes. I can ask that later. But for now, I think that might be it. I'm gonna just enjoy these wonderful colors. Maybe go play on one of these snow piles, who knows. It'll be fun. Just kind of look around, enjoy the nice weather. It's not very windy and stuff. So yeah. Hunter's trying to climb up the hill. He fell down a couple times already. cut the video if you like it, you know what to do like subscribe do the things <sighs> Whew. wow <laughs>